Os. Does everyone have their mask? Just kidding. Os. I have to be very careful. Don't forget to wear your masks whenever you leave the house, okay? Be safe. Wait for all of you guys to come in. Os. Good, you gotta be safe. Always wear your masks. Os from Germany, yeah. Os. Don't forget to wear your masks. Improvement. <laughs> You're gonna get it, Dave Paulus. You're gonna get it. Good. So you can see I'm at my dojo today. Um, instead of my house, my wife was complaining that I was breaking all the floors. She said, you're supposed to do karate like a cat. You're supposed to be soft like a cat. And she said, I'm more like a sumo and I'm breaking the floors. I said, okay, fine. So luckily my dojo is very close by, only five minutes away to my dojo. So I said, okay, I'll go to the dojo. So I don't break the floors of the house like a sumo. All right? Anyway, I'm not wearing this, don't worry. Just wouldn't say hi. So I like this, that nice floor. Uh, again, I wanted to thank Martin and Nadja for inviting me again. For the second time, I appreciate it. Um, today's class will focus a little more on kata. Now, we're not going to break down a whole kata. Um, that's going to take too long, and that's more like a seminar feeling. Today is more like a training. So, what, and we don't have the room, most of you don't have the room to do full kata. So, what we'll do is I'm just going to take small pieces of each kata, not every single one, but we'll start from the hands and up, and then we'll use it for training. Okay? So instead of doing kihon, the pieces of your kata will be like your kihon, okay? And that way you're practicing different parts of different katas uh, and in your whole full hour of training, okay? We'll go up from hand right up to maybe unsu, and we'll end it with some pieces of unsu, okay? So let's get warm up. Oh, let's bow first, sorry. Right, right. Was. Hey, let's warm up. Okay, to warm up, we're gonna do our kicks, kicking just lightly so you don't pull anything. Kick, two kicks, switch. Kick, kick, switch. Kick, kick, pull back, switch. Kick, kick, pull back, switch. Kick, kick, don't have to kick high, pull back, switch. Just more of a warm up. Nice and loose, no tension, you don't wanna pull anything. Just warm up your legs. Just like that. Good, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Don't pull anything. Make sure you kick and pull back. Don't kick and do the running man. Not the running man. Okay, kick and pull back. And then switch. 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 And switch, good. So now my legs feel a little warm. I can do a little more stretching. It's actually a little chilly in here. Hasn't been in use for a while.
Just warm up a little bit on your own. That was a great running man. Yes, I have a great running man. Next week we'll do dance class. So hopefully you got a little warm on your own. Like I said, we're gonna just take little pieces of the katas, and when we do it slowly, that'll be kind of like your warm up. Okay, so first, let's take the four knife hands, hand shodan, also in hand nidan. Okay, so from your oi, just move to your left, slowly first, slowly, each, then on an angle, knee. Then squeeze, squeeze, sun, and she. And that's it. I might be shuffling my feet because I don't want, I want to stay in the screen. Again, watch this hip. You must turn this way. Squeeze, close, then open. Then open. Squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze. And that's it. Good. Again. Each, he, squeeze, and he, and up, again, each, and he, each, and he, like that, then you can break down and just do the arms, try to move your arms fast, one breath, Squeeze. Like that. Exhale. Breathing is very important. If you hold in, it's not correct. You can't make proper kime. So just the hands. Breathe. Squeeze. You can also just practice the feet, the legs. Squeeze. Squeeze, then out, squeeze, out, squeeze, like that. Then you put it together, ish, hini, squeeze up, hishi. Let's do five. Five, all four. When I say each, do all four. Ready, ish. And up. Okay. Knee. Sun. You can hear my stomping. I should be li I should be lighter like a cat. Like my wife says. Not sumo. One more. Yes, I have the, on the wall, Sensei Funokoshi's famous saying, but unfortunately it's backwards, it's backwards for you guys.
and knee down. This arm, do not make a circle. Do not come from below. No. No. Directly. From here. Direct. Squeeze. Squeeze. Kick punch. You should already be squeezed here. Squeeze. Kick punch. And direct. Each knee time. She go rock. Each knee time. She go rock. One count. Let's go. Couple more on your own. One more. Okay. Relax. Get a drink? Yes, look at me, I'm sweating like crazy. No spetsy today. Gatorade. children when they learn this kata they do stuff like that this one goes all the way this way this one goes this way and they do stuff like that just natural in out and not that's another thing a mistake you see in out in out just natural breathe Step back, left side, each. Step forward, me, tam. Step back, she. Step forward, go, rock. Make sure elbow all the way back. On your chicken, hip. Like that, not like that. You shouldn't be able to see it. Like that. Again, step back, each. Me, tam. She, go, rock. Again, each, me, sam, she, go, rock, each, me, sam, she, go, rock. Watching my old videos that I've done, I know I have a bad habit of my thumb going like this. And I didn't realize until I watched myself on video. So, 
something I have to think about. Keeping my thumbs in. Bad habit. Each. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Rok. Each. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Rok. One count. Each. So far so good, there's low calorie Gatorade, yes there is, believe it or not, I think it's like 60 or something instead of 150. Shimizu Sensei doing it, and he's really explained it perfectly. So instead, we'll do the following techniques that are sometimes done incorrectly. After the second, okay, okay. when you're teaching the kata, I know there's a habit to do this. Teach this as two counts. Each knee. I, I myself used to teach it that way. Each knee, and that is fine. But remember in the kata, this is actually one count. Not two counts in the kata. This is one count. And then this is two counts. Ni, tam. So don't teach it, don't perform it. Ich, ni, san, shi. That's four counts. Three counts. So this should be one smooth motion. Then, si, squeeze, squeeze. And kick. Hey. There's also a lot of mistakes here. And I'm not talking about you guys, but I'm talking about my students in my dojo. Sometimes they like to come from here. Sometimes they like to come from here. Sometimes even here. This is like a block, it almost like. But correct way. Just don't hit yourself, okay? This way, must be, okay? Naka Sensei always stresses this when he teaches his kata. Make sure you do it that way, okay? JK especially, make sure you do it JK correct way. One, two, three. And don't be afraid to get a little farther. Not so short. And you barely, you barely did anything. Go forward. Like I'm out of the screen now. Okay? And that's why in tournaments, you see many people don't reach the line. They end up too far this way. If that's the line, they end up over here when you finish. Because when they did this, they didn't go far enough. They did it too short. Okay, make sure, don't be afraid to go forward. Okay, ready? Each, ni, san, te. Squeeze, elbow. Each, ni, san, ta. Okay. Each, Ni san One count. Ich. Nip. 
Uchiuke. Like Basai Dai. Same feeling. Okay? Relax a little bit. Everybody okay? Good. Sweat like me. You gotta sweat. Let's go. to 23 this is where the most mistakes happen as well come on squeeze as narrow as you can if it's too wide this is no connection and this is what happens on your next movement this foot has to go all the way there to make a proper back stance see and this is a common mistake, you go too wide. So you have to have hip flexibility. Almost one line. See, not quite one line, but I'm squeezing, keeping it narrow. So I only have to very, make a very small movement from here to there, if at all. Very little. You do this, now, not correct. Then you have no focus on the rest of your technique. You're worrying too much about moving your foot. See here, I'm almost in one line already. Then, stand up. This is the second count. So this is 22. The next count is only one count for the whole thing. 23. 23. Okay. 21. 22. 23. So, if you are teaching it like this, You just did an extra movement. You just did 24 now. It's not correct. One, two, three. Okay? No pausing. No pausing here and no turning the hip here. Once you reach showman, once your body reaches showman, go. Like that. So your hip. Go, doesn't do this first. Waste of movement, okay? Hish, knee, sun. Smooth. Hish, knee, sun. Okay, everybody getting it? Good. One count. Whole thing. Each. Oh. Almost lost my balance. Knee. How you guys doing? Do a few more. Do a couple more. Woo. Then we'll go to Basai Dai. Even if you don't know the kata, it's okay. Because we're only doing about four movements. Three, four movements every time. Even if you don't know the kata, you can do it.
Okay, I did this in a prior video, but this is a very important part of this kata that many people don't do correct. Each. Don't turn the hip. Only with your block. Rotate on your heel. Rotate on your heel. This foot barely has to move. If you move both legs, you move both feet, this knee goes out. This one hardly moves. See? Squeeze. Squeeze. Bare, barely moved. I rotate on my hip, on my heel. Then again, here, here first. You don't have to put it here, like on top. Don't worry about that. Just this for heel. Again, each knee. Ipan, she. Your body, look, if you see behind me, the poster, when I punch, look at my body. It moves out of the way. See? Now there's a here. Then I punch, moves out of the way. See? Now you can see the mural. The mural. If you can, if I'm not rotating on my heel, you will not be able to see the mural. See? Don't do that. If you do that, and you are brown belt, you will not get showdown because you're not understanding. You have to show correct understanding. Punch from the hip. Squeeze here. Don't open. Then again, punch. Squeeze. Like that. See how my body is moving. It must move out of place. Each knee. Some she. And you don't need to use both arms. Single. Just like here, Nidam. One, two, three, four. One count. Each. Knee. Okay. Sorry, guys. See? I'm moving too much like sumo again. Oh, sorry. Bear with me. There. Soft like a tiger. Soft, uh, soft like a cat. Okay, not like heavy like a sumo. Again. Each knee. Sang chi. One count. Your turn. Sun. She. Time for a tripod, that's right. <laughs> Go. Oh, good job. Okay. Then we're going to take parts from MP, Gion, Gojusio Show, Unsu. Very small parts. So even if you don't know the kata, you can learn it. Learn, it's only three, four movements. And you don't need a lot of space. Okay. From MP, we're not gonna do the beginning. We're gonna go from here, here. These next few movements. Now I have a line on the floor here. This helps me, okay, to make sure my stance is correct. When you come up, after the second movement, your next get on right. First of all, you don't need to use both arms. This is like tiki shodan. You know tiki shodan? Go. Same idea. Then one line, one line. This is very important, you go on one line. Then rotate on your heels, like this. If you do not go on one line, and you go too wide, now it's gonna, ah, shoot. Still too much power.
Sorry guys, I don't know how long this will stay. Okay, I won't go too rough. So, one line. Because if you go too wide, now when you do your next movement, you're going to pull this leg back. Which means, how effective is this kagizuki? This kagizuki is not gonna be effective if you are going backwards. So your body is going backwards, but you're trying to do a full kagizuki here. Not effective. Not as effective as it should be. Straight line. Stay on one line, then just use your hip. Then now you can focus everything here, not your footwork. So one line. This way. One line. Slightly down. Again. One line, just from here. If you need more study, you can look up uh, Kurehara Sensei's MP. Kurehara Sensei's MP on YouTube. You just type in Kurehara MP and you will see how amazing and perfect he does this. Very little subtle things that he's doing. Okay? The subtle things that he's doing. He's not making a big Gidan Barai. No, he's making it small. But correct. Sorry guys. One line. One line. There. One line. Don't waste your steps. Effectiveness. And you must make a front stance. A lot of times you see even university students, you bet, they're just doing kibahachi. That's actually incorrect. They're just going, because they're thinking about this, they're not doing proper front stance. Like I said, study Kurihara MP, either one, younger brother or older brother, both incredible and correct. Straight line. Then, Agazuki. Okay, let's do that sequence. Ishni Sanchi. Ishni Sanchi. Agizuki. That's another thing that gets overlooked. Many times look straight. Agizuki, don't forget. One count. Ish. I myself find I'm taking, getting short sometimes on my front stands because I'm thinking about Kagizuki. Try not to do that. Okay, try five on your own. Ready? Ish. Again. Knee. Let's go. Sun. Good, two more. She. Da, 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 da. One more. Go. Hey, one more. Da, da. Squeeze. Another guy, squeeze. Okay. Put 100% in every technique. Every single one. Don't break any. So for example, some of you only want to do Kagizuki. Weak, strong. Weak, strong. All four. Strong, 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 strong. Every technique in your kata has to be effective. Don't cheat on any of them. No shortcuts. Okay? And then you're going to be tired and breathing heavy just from doing four techniques. Must put 100%. Okay, whoo, jump. This is another part many people do differently, but I have got confirmation from our senseis, Sensei Saiki, our head of Canada, as well as Naka Sensei, when I last saw him in Chicago, I asked to be sure. Here, next technique. Right hand in front. Don't turn your hip. Hip. 
Show me. Vibration. Okay, now think about why. What's your next technique? This. This is Agayuki. How can you make a proper Agayuki if your body is like this? <laughs> what is this now? It's no longer Agayuki. Keep your body square. Then, another punch is coming. This arm, this hand doesn't go straight to the ear. Must come around. Like this. Okay? Yeesh. Knee. Vibration. Sanchi. My body position didn't change. Just vibrating the hips. Don't do this. This, this. This is not correct. Not effective. Not efficient. Wrong technique. Everybody understand? Let's try one count. Each. Knee. Sun. She. Go. Oh, practice it on your own. Okay. Keep doing it. If you weren't doing it correctly, try correcting it now. And make it a habit. Like I said, he made in every technique. No shortcuts. If you're doing it like this, not correct. Jiom, powerful, powerful kata. Stable, strong. Shorei influence. Shorei Ryu influence. Not Shorin Ryu. Heian kata is Shorin. Fast and sharp. Jiom, Shorei Ryu. Heavy. Pa, 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 pa. No cheating. Pa, pa, pa. Not. Good. Woo! Put 100%, you'll be tired. Okay. Go to show show. Tate shuto. Punch, punch. Kick, punch. Opposite side. Tate shuto. Punch, punch. Now, many times, you see, from here, forgetting about the hip and just doing this. Your hip didn't do anything, only arm. Not correct. Then you watch the Japanese team and you'll see the difference. There's hip showman this way. Then as they block, open. This means an understanding of how you to use the hips. So many times I see. Mm. Then, pa, pa, ta, ta, ta. then, <sighs> nothing here. No using the hip correctly. Okay, it's not easy. You have to train properly. So if we do it standing up, you might find it's easy. So we're already in showman position. We're gonna step back. Then open your hips as you block. Then punch, punch. Kick, punch. Then opposite side. Here, don't do this. Keep it straight. Open. Like that. Okay? Left again. 
Each open with your head. Punch, punch, punch. Yo, other side. Just keep your body showman. Then honey. Okay. You guys getting it? Yeah, you're right. I need Spetsy. I'm too tired because of Gatorade. Not enough calories. Woo! Let's do it again. Step back with the right leg. Each. Open the hip. Knee, tum. She, go. Then your. Other side. Each. Knee, tum. She, go. And now, other side. Open the hip. Ta, ta, ta. And your other side. Open the hip. Punch, punch, kick, ta. And your try. It. Let's see, guys. Woo! Give me a thumbs up if you understand. Come on, no thumbs up. There, let's go. Good, good, good. Try one count. Go. Ta, ta, ta. Kick, punch. Yo. Ta, kick, ha, ha, ha. Yes, I'm tired. Come on, let's go. Woo. Oh, let's go. Use your hips correctly. Correct body position. Correct kimi. Tell you're tired. Tell you're exhausted. Each. Other side. Open the hip. Keep going. Five times. So remember, teaching this kata, hips. If you look at almost every single technique we went over today, it's all about the hips. Hey, and shodan, squeeze, open. Hey, and nidan, yako han mi. Hey, and sanam, pulling your hip all the way back, elbow all the way back. Then forward. Hey, hey, and yundam, one count. So you can whip the hip, not two counts. Hey, okay. and then driving the hip forward. Hey, and godan. Rotate your hip, then pull it back. Okay. Ba side eye. Ta ta hip. Ta ta. MP. Ta. Rotate your hip. Okay. And jiom. Vibration. Vibration. Then now go to your show. Ta te. Open the hip. Okay. Then unsu. Unsu. This part, I have seen done maybe a hundred different ways. Okay, I'm just going to go by JK standards, okay? Some people you see up here. Then, sometimes you see this. Big. Sometimes you see this. Sometimes you see this. Okay, you gotta try to find that medium, the correct medium, okay? You don't have to slap it. Sometimes it happens by accident. You see it in competition, I've been guilty of it. You hit your legs. Really, you shouldn't be doing that. But sometimes it just happens naturally. You just misjudge. But try not to do it on purpose. Up, oh, sorry, down, up. About shoulder width, but don't do this. 
Because if you do this, when you extend your arm, it goes on an angle. Now, here. Now watch. All I have to do now is straighten my elbow. This is the correct position. Straighten my elbow. So my elbow is not changing. Okay, if you do this, now your elbow's this way. If you do this, now your elbow's here. So find that correct medium here. Shoulder height. Good. Ippon nukite. Da. Da. Doesn't have to be, don't hit your leg. Don't have to be on the outside. Just wherever it falls naturally should be about there. Maybe just a tad on the inside. Like that. Okay? Uh, knee position. No space. No space. Squeeze. And when you do your footwork, here, you drop this foot. It's not a full circle. If you do a full circle, this is what happens. You're doing a full circle, then open. Only half circle. Half circle. See, my knees are still tight. And then pull back. Then down. Only half circle. You can turn your hip. You can, no problem. You can turn your hip like that. But you have to keep your arms here. And then... Like that. Okay? Pa. Ta. Squeeze. Down. Half circle. Look at my arms. They're not going to move. My hip is going to move, but my hands aren't going to move. Watch. Squeeze. Ta. Vibration. No rotation. Vibration. Yeah. Squeeze. Pull back. Like that. Okay? Simple. Many times. Oh. <sighs> Looks ugly, right? People, people that don't know karate is like, what the heck is that? Looks terrible. So we have to make it look as good as we can and correct as possible. Ta. Squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Down. Half circle, so that your knees are still squeezing. Then pull the hip in. Pa. Ta. Down. Ta. Sorry, here. Squeeze. Ta. Okay, no exaggerated movement. Hip. The feeling is down. Hip. Ta. Small, like that. A little bit. Don't. And try not to do this. You have to keep it here. All hip. All the hip. This feeling. And don't. And open your knee. Okay? It takes a lot of practice. Oh, again. Too much kime. Jeez. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay, we almost made it to the end anyway. Wow, I gotta step back. Again. And two, three, squeeze. Four, five, six. Okay, you guys try. You guys try. Don't slap your uh, body. Elbows in. Don't, don't bend the wrist too much. Very slight. Izumiya Sensei has a good video online as well. He's doing blocking with the wrist. Okay, but don't overdo it. Natural. Okay? Applications a little might maybe an application you would wrist you would bend the wrist a little more on bunkai But for kata Just natural here yeah. then down then up then down. Then down. You do it a hundred times because it's not a natural feeling it takes lots of practice thousands and thousands and thousands of times Then you can use it in competition maybe Okay, so if this is your competition kata, make sure you're not just practicing the jump, like myself and my brother Stan, the jump when we were little boys, 
That's all we cared about was to jump. Oh, how do we jump like Yahara Sensei? And that's okay, because you're a kid, you enjoy it, that's fine, but don't forget about the rest of the kata. Okay? The jump is a very small part, not the most important part. Okay? This is the beginning of the kata. If this is wrong already, the judges don't even care. They don't even want to look at you anymore if you do this incorrectly. Ah, squeeze your knees. Ha-ta! Squeeze your knees and hips. Ha-ta! Okay? One more. This way. Good. Okay, we got five minutes. Let's do a quick review of all of them. Okay, and then you can practice this at home without using a lot of space. Four knife hands and hand knee uh, shodam. One, two, squeeze. Three, four. Get behind me, position, hand knee dam. Reach. Ni, tam, shi, go, rook. Hina, sandam, step back. Ta, 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 ta. Hina, yodam, squeeze. Ah. Oops. Okay, it didn't fall. Hina, yodam, ta, ta. One count. One count. MP One line One line switch hip One line hip Jump Vibration Don't turn the hip Everything's straight. Hey. Go just your show. Step back. Tate. Uh, open the hips with your block. Punch, punch. Kick, punch. And then last one, Unsu. Ichi. San. Chi. Go. Rock. Then you can put them all together like a kata mashup. Okay? If I could go longer, I would. But I'm exhausted. But I do want to announce one thing. Uh, um, good news. Uh, Emmanuel Sensei and Devor Sensei from Germany has confirmed that next year. They will be hosting myself and Sensei Don Sharp again in Germany. Very happy to hear that. Very excited. Uh, so uh, the time would be around June. We haven't had exactly the date. Looking near close to the end of June, third, third weekend to last weekend of June 2021, myself and Sensei Don will be back in Germany. Most likely Frankfurt again, um, but all that stuff will be announced by our host, Emmanuel Sensei, who will be teaching, and Devor Sensei, uh, two greatly good friends of ours. And we thank you guys for having us. And of course, all our other German peeps out there, Giovanni, Omar, <laughs> and the rest of you guys. Thank you again, Martin and Nadja, for inviting me again. I don't think I can do any more because I'm too exhausted. So thank you for having me. Os. And I hope we'll see my friends in Germany 2021. Os. I hope you enjoyed the training and have a great night. For us in Toronto, a great day. Now I'm trying to turn this off, but I can't find it. So, Os. Oh, there's finish. Os. Go get your masks on. Bye-bye.